Hey guys, we're here at Roots Cafe. Uh, they are a plant-based eatery that specializes in whole foods. A lot of the things on their menu are gonna look very familiar to meat-based delicacies that you've had in the past, but I can assure you they are all plant-based. Today we're gonna have a demonstration of a pumpkin pudding with the head chef Morgan, and we're also gonna try their timeless tacos. This is Animals Freed with Jordan Freed. Come on down. All right, we're here with uh, Morgan, one of the head chefs here at Roots Cafe uh, in Northvale, New Jersey. Uh, and she's gonna walk us through a little dessert demonstration. Hi. So we're gonna make a pumpkin pudding today. So it's like a very simplified version of a pumpkin pie. And really all you need is a mixing bowl and a spoon. So you don't need a food processor or even a blender to do this. And just, it's very simple ingredients. So, so far what we have, we have honey, raw local honey, and avocado. And if you don't have honey for any reason, you can use dates. We have pumpkin puree, pecans, uh, almond butter, and some pumpkin pie spice. So, yeah, I'll show you. We'll just go, we'll dive right in. So we'll first just take the avocado. Scoop out the avocado right into the bowl. Do you like pumpkin pie? I do. I'm more of a fan of pumpkin than most people, I think. Cool. I see its medicinal benefits. Yeah. <laughs> it has a lot of vitamins in it, right? It really does. It, yeah, so much vitamin A. What's your relationship like with your local beekeepers? And like the so, honey yeah, products? we just actually transitioned. We used to get a raw honey from Michigan for a long time, but now we're doing a local one from Japan. New York around here, so then we just made that switch and it's really great to have local honey. And then almond butter. So a half cup of almond butter. And then the pumpkin pie is spice. Just get a couple shakes of that. And then all you do is mix it up. There's also a lot of people who uh, feel like they're going to be missing out on desserts by yeah. becoming vegan. Uh, and I feel like your establishment uh, definitely shows us that the plant-based way can also be a sweet way. You can even make this into a pumpkin pie, like this could be the filling. If you do have a food processor, you could do just, I usually do almonds and dates or pecans or sunflower seeds or like any kind of nut and seed with dates and just like pulse it in a food processor and that would be a nice crust. So you can even take like a cupcake tin and put the crust at the bottom and then just add the pumpkin pie into it. Instead of baking it, you just put it in the freezer and let it solidify for a little bit. This is really good. This does, this tastes like the inside of a pumpkin pie for sure. Not only do I feel good eating it right now, I feel like I'm gonna feel really energized later. It's really magical. And I definitely recommend you guys all do the pumpkin pie version. I like to make cheesecakes in uh, little muffin tins mm -hmm. using the uh, crust pack. I wanna, I wanna like package this up and then have it in like smaller portions so that I can eat it every day for the rest of my life. <laughs> Timeless tacos, we call them. And first it just started with this one, the original one, but now this is a trio, so it's one of each of the three that we have. So the first original one is a walnut and mushroom taco meat that we make, and it's topped with pico, which is tomatoes, red onions, cilantro, 
It's a lime juice. And then there's a cashew based sour cream sauce and a cilantro lime sauce on top. Oh, and the, the wraps we make ourselves. So it's really the leftover juice pulp that we have. So we have to find a way to like repurpose it. And then we mix it with flax seeds and some spices. And then it's like a, it's a liquid that we pour out onto dehydrator sheets and circles. And then you just pop it in the dehydrator. And like 13 hours later, you have taco shells. Wow, I just so, got a dehydrator. So oh, cool. I'm going to have to figure out how to use it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it takes a while. It really is such a learning experience. And so the farthest one over there, that's a mango curry taco. So that is a mango chili chutney. And then this is the spicy jack taco. So it has spiced jackfruit and a spicy mayo, which is cashew based, and the pico on there. So the original is the original for a reason. Yeah. It tastes very good. It's a lot of fresh veggies. I've never really had a fruit taco before. But we used to have a, a samosa on the menu. So we had the chili mango in there with curry cashew cheese, but it was just like a very time consuming process. It was a fun thing to just have as a special, but not to sustain. So we're like, it's more than a taco. I really like this a lot. I didn't know what to expect. Uh, it is kind of like a cold taco, which is also kind of refreshing. Mm. It, it feels like I am like having a smoothie in a taco. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm also a spicy fan as well. Yeah, those are good. Wicked good. Yeah, um, the, the jackfruit's like a nice meat consistency, but it's just, it's like its own thing. Yeah, so there you have it. Timeless tacos. Timeless tacos. They are timeless. You can eat these any time of the day for any meal of the day, including dessert. It's really <laughs> delicious. Thank you again, Morgan, for showing us all this wonderful stuff. It was so tasty. Get into, how'd you get into food? That's cool. It's more like something I was just interested in more so, I think. Yeah, I've always been interested in cooking like since I've lived on my own, uh -huh. I think, because uh, like my parents weren't bad cooks, but like they definitely were like <laughs> extravagant cooks, you know? Yeah. Uh, so then once I was on my own, it was like a lot of like figuring it out myself. And then also like once I started living on my own, that's where I started getting more into the plant-based stuff because uh -huh. I was like, oh, I didn't even know this was an option. Because I'm so used to eating meat with everything. Well, how long ago was that? Uh, it's about like two years ago. That yeah, I'm really like so switched curious. over to plant-based. I'm always so curious yeah. of what, because that's if we had a way to figure out exactly what <laughs> happened to you, and were able to package it or put it in a little pill or something, that would be fantastic. Because we're always trying to figure out what changes somebody. How do they make it quick? Boom. And you're so happy you did it, right? Yeah, definitely. I think also it's kind of funny because like the Impossible Burgers and Beyond Burgers is definitely the gateway, but then you come to a place like this and then you're just like, oh, this is really what vegan food is. This is really what plant-based food is. Like this is the raw like material. I keep saying to ourselves, why would you eat something else? Yeah. You know, why would you go there and, and, and turn the nutritional label over and just see all these chemicals on there and say, hmm, okay, fine. But once it gets past that right in the beginning, and after you've been eating puddings like that, you would taste it. You would taste it instantly. Yeah. So, and, and how it affects your body is, is just tremendous. We don't, I guess Morgan told you, but we don't serve anything unless you get the whole thing. You know, like there's no avocado oil. It's in there because you got the avocado in there. There's no walnut oil. I mean, the stuff that we make is is very rich, very satisfying. They make something like this this cake or this the pudding that you make. You, you, we taste this. This, this. this is ridiculously good. So we go inside. We check the whole kitchens. You know, we check all the cabinets. Make sure there's no contraband in there. You know, no coconut oil or nothing like that. Started after the gym. We we own the gym too. And we would watch everybody uh, finish their workout, which is a spectacular workout. It's a gym like this is a restaurant, you know? So <laughs> if, you, if you walked in there, you'd see what I mean. It's a big empty room. There's not one machine here. <laughs> you know, we've been there for 20 years. So, um, and, and most of our stuff is done outside. So COVID didn't even affect us because we're outside anyway. Oh, wow. you know? It was great. 
And then back here, we would just we just had a little little cafe, just a little door right there. None of this, none of this was ours. Oh wow! And then we were watching after the workouts, we were watching these guys. You know, they'd have their Snickers bar. My wife say Snickers, Snickers, and <laughs> Snickers bars, and they'd have their Gatorade and like, oh, you know, the gels that everything that's on uh, Women's Quarterly or Man's Quarterly or whatever that thing is that you're supposed to have after every workout. So Jody says, why don't we just like make smoothies after class. We used to give out apples, you know, after class we'd hand out apples and they started liking them. We handed out, you know, oranges, whatever, whatever, peaches, whatever fruit there was, you know, and that's, that's what we'd be giving them to stop them from doing this. So Jody says, why don't you just open up a smoothie place? And we, you know, we had like two blenders and that was it. And after class they'd come down and be like, oh, this is good. Right. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so that, that, then, then it, they started, because our philosophy was still there, you know, it was only this you know, this many people knew about it. But COVID came along and we just said, well, we could set up tables out here and the town was fine. They were very gracious. And the landlord didn't know about it right away. <laughs> but we took over the whole place. So he comes down here and maybe about, uh, we were well into it, you know, and, and the gym was closed. Yeah. So we're paying the rent. He's wondering how we're paying the rent. He comes down over here, he looks around, he goes, this is really nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we thought. We came to see uh, yeah. the music that you guys have here. Yeah, so, I mean, we, we could, we could, uh, <laughs> you, know, you know, it's funny, too, because in the beginning, when we first opened up back here, everybody would come back and say, that, well, let me see, you're in the back of an industrial building. You're in a parking lot. You're by a, a train tracks, and there's nothing back here. How do you... How is anybody going to come? And everybody would say that constantly. You know what? You guys need to get in a better location now. <laughs> you guys got the best spot in the world. This is so great. <laughs> Never could have happened if we didn't get a kick in the butt from something negative. Yeah. You know, which is so. So what's negative? You know, what yeah. does that mean? Yeah. Negative is. Oh no, we have to shut down. That's the negative reaction. Oh wow. We could be outside now and spread out. Yeah. That's the positive reaction. It's the same thing that happened. It's like, did you ever hear that, that shoe, shoe store, that shoe salesman story? No. It, it sticks in my mind so good. This, there was two salesmen, and they had to go to, I don't know, Ethiopia or someplace to go sell shoes. That was, that was the thing. So the owner sends them out, and they go back over there. Nobody has any shoes on. Nobody has any shoes on. So the one guy comes back, he goes, forget it. We ain't going to do nothing over that. They don't even wear shoes. The other guy comes back, he goes, oh my God, you're not gonna believe this. <laughs> Nobody has any shoes. We're gonna be the first ones in there. It's gonna be great. Also so, the plant-based thing, the I plant think is the same exact concept. Exactly. <laughs> it. Yeah, so many people are like, oh, nobody eats plant-based. And it's like, no, tons of people like eating plant-based. They just can't find it. They and they don't know how to cook it themselves. Find it. And that's think their vegetables major, taste bad. We had to figure out a way how to, how to get mainstream to go along with this. Work. We have people in here that are just straight, you know, meat eaters, and they come back over here. How did you make this wrap? Yeah, it's really tasty. Oh, I had a burrito gosh. when I came here for music. Yeah. yeah. It's just really delicious. Yeah, really. <laughs> this is what we're trying to do. Yeah. We, we want to get the word out. Like, when you found out what it's like, you're, you want to tell people, right? Yeah, well, I feel bad for people. I'm just like, I feel so good after I eat all this food. Like, I feel amazing. Like, I used to just feel terrible after I would eat a big meal. Exactly. And I would be in the bathroom for hours. Exactly. So, so you know, I, I tell people, and, and sometimes it clicks, can you imagine if you being able to eat what you want, as much as you want, when you want? <laughs> I do that. Yeah, no, I feel the same way. <laughs> they say, "Well, don't you ever crave?" No, I don't. Because as I'm eating it, it's, it, it the taste changes. The taste changes, which is a wonderful thing. Because figure out, like, you grab a pineapple, right? You're, you're really thirsty. You finish your run or something. You cut the pineapple and take a bite. Oh, this is so good. Eat another one. <laughs> Maybe the, the, the third or fourth one, the taste begins to change. Sometimes your mouth even burns. You, now, you're not full, but you had enough of whatever that pineapple wants to offer you. So you put it on the side, you're done. Try that with a pizza and a Gatorade. You're going <laughs> to eat the whole pizza. You're gonna do, it doesn't... Something happens when you process the food and you take out parts of it that's supposed to be in there.
there's no mechanism that your body knows how to stop that. But in, in I don't like to put adjectives in front of food. I was going to say real food <laughs> because I, I, I want people to understand what I'm talking about. Yeah. There's no such thing as fast food. There's no such thing as super food. There's no such thing as, as junk food. There's food and then there's poison. That's it. There is, and, and I can prove that with just easy statistics. 650,000 people die every year in this country from poor choices. So, that's a lesson to you guys. It works. Eat your veggies. Your veggies. <laughs> the whole thing. All of it. Right, all of it. <laughs> Skin and all. It's not that I don't want to fill up. <laughs> hey, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> the food is go to prove. Just like Thank you very uh, much. This was really great to get to talk to you. Thank you very uh, much.